Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Peter Munya, the former cabinet minister of agriculture during the regime of Uhuru Nge Kenyatta, is facing arrest after, according to the news, is that the warrant has come out from the court uh, requesting the DCI's officers and EACC officers to arrest Peter Munya, who came out the other day in 2019 testifying on how a certain principal secretary and cabinet minister forced him to sign a certain document that was going to forcefully make them to release certain billions of money. And this was um, about the question 68 billion Kenya shillings Aurora and Kimware dams as this was a corruption case against former Treasury Cabinet Minister Henry Rotich. In this video, I want us to look at the reason why the court has come out to deliver the, the arrest warrant against the former Cabinet Minister of Agriculture, Peter Munya, during the regime of Orumege Kenyatta. But before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, if you are a visitor for the first time and you have not subscribed to this channel, please do me a favor, ensure you subscribe to this channel. You like this video, you give your opinion in the comment section below, and don't forget to share this video. According to news that has been established, is that Peter Munya is a wanted man because he failed to appear before an anti-corruption court to testify in an 68 billion Kenya shillings Aurora and Kimware dams corruption case against the former Treasury Cabinet Minister that is Henry Rotich. The warrant of arrest against the former Cabinet Minister Peter Munya issued by Milimani Magistrate, that is Eunice Newto, after DCI officers failed to produce him in court, the investigation officer is Mr. Douglas Chege, is that the magistrate is saying that she is ordering the presentation of Peter Munya in court by 11.15 a.m. And his warrant of arrest still stands. But now, as the magistrate, also declined an explanation by Mr. Peter Munya's lawyer on why the former cabinet minister, Peter Munya, did not appear in court on Tuesday, August 29, uh, 29th, 2023. Now, a DCI officers who spoke to Nairobi News said that the officers had already been dispatched to arrest Peter Munya. And this is what the officer said, that already some officers have been dispatched to arrest the former CS. The officer have been sent to his Nairobi and Meru homes, said the detective sought as he was not authorized to address the media. So in according to this, is that in 2019, in 2019, Peter Munya came out testifying when it comes to the case of the former Treasury Cabinet Minister Henry Teach when it comes to the Aror Kimware Dam 68 billion Kenyan shillings corruption case. And Peter Munya said that a top cabinet official give him a call twice and this was to push him to approve the release of four billion kenya shillings for the two dams and he also said that the principal secretary also attempted to pressure him 
to sign the documents. But he came out refusing this. So Peter Munya told the police in a statement that he refused to sign because he was new to the ministry and he had noticed a lot of pressure from the people he believed had vetted um, or rather had vested interest. So when you look at the reason why he is being arrested is because he failed to come out to testify. It is not that he was the one who involved himself in Kimwarel and Arodan. But because he came out testifying, what he saw immediately he took over from the cabinet ministry of agriculture. But now when you look at the case, it seems like now the weight is being thrown to Peter Munya because the court wants the evidence. And in any case, he's not going to produce the evidence. I don't know whatever is going to happen. Are they going to charge Peter Munya for the falsy testimonial kind of statements? Because this is something that was... Um, that was given by Peter Munya himself. So, so for me, when you look at the case, I don't believe that now, for me, I think Peter Munya has his lawyers. The arrest was not the only solution. As the lawyer was present in the court, the lawyer of Peter Munya was present in the court. I think the evidence that was presented by the lawyer, I think sometimes you might not be in the court if it is not the guarantee that has been measured by the judge or rather when it comes to the case. But again, at the same time, the judge came out demanding the presence of Peter Munya. I think this could have been just a notice. That look, you are wanted uh, in this case. But now whatever is happening is that this is just pure frustration. I'm not defending Peter Munya because if he was testifying how things went when it comes to the Aurora and Kimore Dam, then I think time is now. Time is now that as the notice was being delivered to him through his lawyer, I think he could have come out to present himself. He could have not denied that. But now this kind of arrest was the purpose. Because now the judge gave an arrest warrant against Peter Munya. At the same time, I think the reason why he was not in the court was explained by his lawyer. So I think the information could have been given to his lawyer, then the lawyer could have communicated to Peter Munya, then Peter Munya could have come out to present himself before the court. But to come out to frustrate him by sending DCI officers, ESCC officers, to his Meru home and Nairobi home, I think this is just pure blackmail. And time has come that at least the way justice is being handled is not the way it is. I know some people will say that I'm saying something that I don't know. But the truth is, Peter Munya could have been given notice, present yourself in the court. And the reason why he was not in the court was explained by the lawyer. And if they wanted Peter Munya, they could have come out to notice the lawyer. The lawyer could have come out to contact the Peter Munya, then Peter Munya could have availed himself in the court. Let them not come out to paint a bad picture as if now it is what it was Peter Munya who involved himself in Kimorel and Arodam. But if in any case he had evidence, let him come out to give evidence because we need justice in the court. So that is whatever 
is happening. Ladies and gentlemen, what are thoughts? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video.